answer a lot stronger than you think. Let's test that. It's alive! It's alive! So normally I make plant pots, but I have been lucky enough to be gifted the Pusoki Sky Planter. So the premise is that it's an upside down plant pot, which means the soil goes inside here, you hang it up and the plant faces downwards. The plant pot itself is made from recycled plastics and it has a water reservoir inside that terracotta dish where you fill up through the hole in the top. And then you hang the metal wire. I'm not drilling holes in my ceiling, so I use the little S hooks um, on the dowel rods. So what I'm gonna do is try and mix and match some plants that do need repotting and going into a larger container and see if I can still manage to get them to stay in when I turn it upside down. So let's begin making this franken plant. Because I'm going to be planting succulents or so many succulent plants in this pot, I really want the soil nice, light, and airy. So I'm adding some parts cactus soil, some parts soil with perlite. This just makes for a really nice, light, and airy, well draining compost. And I know someone out there is going to be like, why are you mixing succulents with Tradescantia? They're not going to like the soil there. The conditions are going to be too dry for the Tradescantia and it's just going to die. Well, luckily for me here, trads are semi-succulent plants most of the time and they store a lot of water in their stems and in quite a few varieties in their leaves as well, which is where you get the really thick Tradescantia leaves like on the Tiana. So Tradescantia can actually go quite a while without needing to be watered, which is perfect for the string of hearts and the string of pearls. Now one thing I have noticed when growing these trailing succulents is that they do like to have quite a moist damp soil most of the time. They do dry out very easily and they do drop their leaves or shrivel up their pearls really quickly if they don't have enough water. And a lot of people underwater strings of pearls which is why they don't do so well because they think that oh it's just a succulent they don't need as much water and then they can go months without water well actually i found in my experience that they do quite like a lot of water which is why i think these three plants would actually not fare too badly together in the same pot either or these are mainly just cuttings that i have rooted or grown on from a plant so it doesn't matter if it all dies to be honest <laughs> it's just a fun little experiment making this franken plant and see what happens see if any survives house plants can get a bit boring if you don't experiment with them and i love seeing what plants go well together as companion plants to like fill out a pot and it looks so much nicer on the eye when you have lots of different varieties different colors different leaf shapes different textures in one pot together if you can find that right balance in this with the soil and the watering and other things that the plant will need the most difficult part of this potting up was putting this mesh over it i didn't want all the soil to fall out and it comes with this little mesh circle that has a hole in the middle of it so that you can put a single stem through but i'm not putting a single stem through so yeah i made that much much more difficult than i needed to but oh well we move and once the mesh is on and the plants are pulled through there is this round circular bit of plastic that clips the mesh in place so that doesn't fall out either I want it to be really kind of jam packed in there so that when it all gets turned over nothing falls out. As all the roots web together they should make the soil much more secure and I shouldn't have to worry about things falling out too much. If you would like to try an upside down plant project for yourself then I'm going to link this plant pot in the description down below. Finally after squishing in for what seemed like a lifetime I tipped it up and nothing fell out luckily. And this is it. This is the Franken monster plant. I know some people are going to absolutely die seeing this and think, oh my god, they're going to die. But plants are a lot stronger than you think. Let's test that. This is all just one big experiment. This is full of really random trailing plants. And it's quite cool. As you can tell, it's a great way to just use up some scraps. And it reminds me a bit of a, a jellyfish, which is which is nice. So don't come at me, don't tell me, oh, you shouldn't be doing this, or you know, 
that'll kill your plant, but... We don't care. And it normally has a thing that bobs, but it's uh, falling in. So, yeah, I don't, I don't have that, so I can't tell how much water there is in it, but it's, it's full of water now, and it is very, very heavy. So now I am going to hang up this horrific beast of a... Uh, a franken plant. Something I really like about this plant pot is that it looks good in pretty much any space. It's quite a modern, clean aesthetic and if white's not your colour then you can also get this pot in black too. I kind of wish that there was more variety of colours and one of the projects I think I'll do in the future is to paint this a nice terracotta colour and add in some bicarbonate to get that really cool texture. 